It's good YouTube, Nate with Mass Collector. I got uh, Wave 2 of Steoki's um, trading card sets from Topps. Um, I have I had Wave 1, I had 3 boxes, Wave 2 I got 4, I missed Wave 3 and I think I got 4, or 3 or 4 of the Wave 4 coming. Um, just testing them out, see how they look. So let's get cracking into this. Um, I did get a Vlad Jr. numbered refractor card last time, which is pretty cool. Got that handy actually. So out of the first three boxes, I got this one. This one's numbered to 77. Pretty cool. I'm gonna try to make this a quick video. I only got about 30 minutes on my card left. All right. So wave two. Um, just says obviously it's got a different set list and stuff so but you get 25 cards in the set and then you get one parallel card which could be you know a number of things hope everybody had a good Christmas today is January Third, or I'm sorry. Today, today is December 31st. So New Year's Eve. So Juan Soto leads off the pack. Get these cushies in there. And then here's our Randy Johnson parallel. Uh, number to 77 as well. So he's number 44 in the set. Let me make sure I get that sleeved up. But these are just the regular cards in the set. So Juan Soto, Tatis, Seeger, Rando, Darn Darvish. Torres, Kisten, Hira, Hiram Buxton, Douchebag, Manny Machado, Chipper Jones, Ichiro, Hank Aaron, George Brett, Rivera, Big Hurt, Ozzy Smith, Randy Johnson, Kyle Lewis. So it's got some good rookies in here as well, which is cool. Um, as well as, you know, past players, Hall of Famers. So they did a good job as far as like picking the, the players and everything. It's just how, how high in demand are these gonna be? I think wave two was like, uh, somewhere around like eight to nine thousand print runs, where wave one was like fifteen, I think it was up there, but it died off pretty quick. But I think everybody just kind of wanted to get wave one just to jump on it right away. But nobody really saw any of them until it was all said and done, so you kind of didn't know what you were getting into as far as what the set was going to look like. Um, but I think it was 25 bucks, 24.99 or whatever per per box. So again, it's the same exact same set as the other one, just has a different parallel in it. So here we got an Ichiro, just a regular um, foil hollow refractor whatever you want to call it it's not numbered so 
but I think every every other card in here is just the exact same thing. There's not going to be anything uh, numbered in these, I don't think, or, you know, different variations of them. I think it's just uh, you get one, one card in the pack that you have a chance to hit something. So that kind of sucks that you only have one chance from what I can tell to really to really hit something decent um, or who knows maybe the set will just be will be sought after but I, I don't think so a lot of thought of feedback that I've seen from people you know even on like the Facebook tops website when they announced it and when it was coming out people were like why the hell would anybody want to buy these things but I think they look cool it's just really it's going to be all about demand now and what people want to see and buy but again it's just like how many can you buy you know i don't want to spend too much money on it just i'd rather spend more money on a decent card than buying this going forward uh, let's see what we got here. So we got a number to 77, Andrew Benatendi, is that his name? I'm more into basketball than anything, just because that's my sport that I would rather play or watch but I do love watching my brewers it's just so hard to collect baseball because there's so many damn players you know you got 700 card sets and the chances of pulling a good player or a good card or whatever is pretty uh, slim. I guess that goes with everything right now. You can barely find anything on the shelves. It doesn't even matter what the hell sport it is nowadays. Garbage fail kids are going to be the next one flying off the shelves because they're the only damn thing left. Or Fortnite. I see a lot of Fortnite on the shelves still. I've been buying those up when I can get a chance. All right, so last pack, just a regular foil Juan Soto. So that's cool. And who knows, maybe it'll be sought after at some point, but again, it kind of stinks that you just get the same set. You know, And I understand the waves and everything, but it would have been really cool to get some more parallels in here, except for just one. Or even do the whole set as parallels, you know, the whole set as foil, and then, you know, that'd be, and then get like the, the paint or the cake inserts um, in there as the other parallels you can get. That would have been cool if they all would have been like this, every the whole set. That would have been pretty dope, but I can't see it costing that much more money to make those. So anyways, I know something cool to get in the mail, open up, show you guys what I got. I'll make sure I upload the videos. I've been taking some time off just with uh, Christmas and, you know, wrapping up the year um, and everything. So, but... I don't know, just some cool cards. I just don't know if they're going to be very sought after or not. So everybody have a great new year. Be safe out there for amateur hour. Um, don't drink and drive. Walk home. Just be careful. And uh, we'll see you guys in 2021. Adios to 2020. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. I'd really appreciate that. It really would mean the world to me. Um, like the video, comment on it. What do you guys think of this set? Just let me know. Um, you know, good. There's pros and cons to it. Obviously, I think a lot of diehard collectors think they're shit, but it is what it is. So, 
the big money grab, obviously by Tops, but they're just trying to get other celebrities and and uh, producers and DJs and all kinds of things in, involved just to get the hype going for the other untapped market, which are non-sports fans. So you got Steve Aoki getting into this thing, you get a chance to pull one of his cards, maybe people are gonna start getting into it that normally don't collect sports cards. So, all right, thanks again. See you in 2021, Mass Collector out.